ಎಲ್ಲರ ಯುಗಾದಿ ಹಬ್ಬ ಆರ್ತಿಗೆ ಶುಭಾಶಯಗಳು ವಿಶಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ಎ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಯುಗಾದಿ ದ ಯುಗಾದಿ ಫಾರ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ತೆಲಂಗಾಣ ಗುಡಿ ಪಡ್ವಾನ್ ಮಹಾರಾಷ್ಟ್ರ ಚೆಟ್ಟಿ ಚಂದ್ ಬೈ ಸಿಂಧಿ ಸಜೀಪುರ್ ನೋಂಗ್ ಬಾ ಪಾಂಬ ಬೈ ಮಣಿಪುರಿ ಎಪಿ ಬೈ ಬಾಲಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಇನ್ ಡೋನೇಷಿಯಾ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ರಿಯಲ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುಗಾದಿ ಯುಗಾದಿ ಓರ್ ಉಗಾದಿ ಇಸ್ ಡಿರೈವ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಯುಗ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಓರ್ ಏಜ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆದಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ದ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ನ್ಯೂ ಇಯರ್ we start the beginning of new era by the celebration all over the state to celebrate what the people blindly go and celebrate no no you have the right to celebrate yugadi gudi padwa chetti chand sajibu nongba pamba or niyapi only if you have created the rain water harvesting and then on the festival day you announce with a massive big celebration how many liters million liters of water you are able to save and use it to grow varieties of vegetables and fruits and landscaped it to have a beautiful pond one of the most ornamental ponds in the whole world that is the celebration just to calculate and it is celebration doesn't start just today it today is only the day for measuring measuring what all people have done by your relatives and your friends by village to village each village each temple families state wise and that makes the happiness the gdp growth of a state or a village or a family is known by the calculation of the happiness of the people happiness of the land happiness of the nature first to save and then the spending to so please try to understand nobody has got the right to celebrate yugadi if you have not done your homework no student is allowed inside the classrooms if the homework is not been done so it's the duty of every family to make sure whether they have been able to collect the rain water and how many millions of liters of rain water measurement is a must they should put up the meter to measure to find out how many millions of liters of water they have been able to save then convert it into drip irrigation then they discuss about grey water harvesting the black water harvesting and the check dams so that when the rain comes they show they demonstrate all the artists all the architects all the engineers get involved to find out how beautiful we were able to create the rain water a great red red carpet welcome and we have been able to create during this summer to spend first save and then spend that spending is called yugadi after the celebration of the measurement that you were been able to roar like a thousand men warring in the land and then the second stage goes to the sunlight almost almost not almost every house there is no almost at all for you got the the you got the age the new age to tell them the amount of solar that we have been able to use it collect it up and then by collecting we and the sun becomes one and when we and the sun becomes one there is so much of power when you are in the hot bit the hot you understood every science and law involved in that beautiful sunlight and you have created light all around and it is time now to spend to, to share it to people who doesn't know about this beautiful philosophy 
The third part is the wind. When the wind is coming, we utilize the wind energy. And they embrace not under the fan or under the air conditioners, but the wind in which direction it flows. And when they, the trees and the plants dance, the long grass dance to the tune of the beautiful wind, you made the directions proper so that your buildings are not taken over. You landscape it so beautifully, you and the land becomes one. Your body touches the earth, which disease can touch you. And in that love relationship of your rainwater harvesting the solar and the wind, you have diverted that into beautiful organic vegetables and fruits. And you have created a beautiful security, not because your ill health. You will never fall sick if you are deeply involved in this act before you celebrate the Yugadi, that the landscaping goes with medicinal plants, varieties of perfumes in the medicinal plants, create a beauty. You don't have to buy perfume to spray it. You understood the love relationship with the plants and the earth and the landscaping is so beautiful. Everybody coming not to see the Rengoli, but to see that beauty of the land itself is like Rengoli. Yes. And then the Samskriti. The fifth one is the Samskriti. Whether we have practiced the Samskriti the whole year, they said, I don't get them for the children to show the demonstration of the dance, the martial arts, the painting. And the beauty of the languages that they, they came to know. The beauty of the dresses in what all varieties they were able to stitch. They themselves is a fashion designer, varieties. And when you are deeply involved with the land, you made sure you don't have a permanent building. You melt with the land and with the land, whatever land is the earth is given, whatever soil and rocks, you every year you convert it, you change to suit that particular season. And that makes you deeply in love, making love with the rainwater harvesting, making love with the solar, making love with the wind energy, making love with your land, which helps you to construct one one room or variety of styles of windows and doors and roofs. You are involved, you are making love. It's a joint venture. And then the fifth one is. The real yuga, when this four has been done, then it's a demonstration to the world, not only to the whole world comes to see the beauty of the land, take a sweet, not a dirt. Bhaskara Acharya, Indian mathematician, established Yugadi as the start of the new year, month and day in the 12th century. Yes, 12th century. And it's hard time we stop begging. The whole world comes to see the beauty of our painting, beauty of our dance. And the dance is not just ordinary dance because the Samskriti has been practiced so much. When the moment the mouth opens, it is only the beauty of the cook with the song from the mothers, grandfathers, grandmothers. which we don't get it from any university at all. It's direct to the child. And then the major charitable donations to the Hindu temples and communities to Rakum schools. Yes. To make sure that it is balanced. Temples create the best Sanskriti. Temples are the places Morning after taking the beautiful oil baths is energy. They understood one of the best massage in the world, the Yukadi. Yes, one year of practice, which has gone from century, from 12th century onwards of that massage. Varieties of massage, including the Shiatsu, which has got fused fusion of Indian massage and the Japanese ones. 
it is just low. And whenever you go to any factories or companies, you know, you are going there to find out what, how they were being able to use you so that you can come back and make sure that this is very, very important. This structure of your family is very important. Then you don't have to go to any hospitals to find out how to make love. When you know how to make love, no disease comes close to you. This is the real meaning of Yugadi. Please try to make sure Yugadi is all the panchayat leaders, all the house leaders, family heads of the families must make sure rainwater harvesting collected, measured and demonstrated in variety of ways. One of the most beautiful ponds, the solar, the whole house and your area is lit with solar lights and balance how much you got it to be shared to the other people, the wind energy, the landscaping, including the change of the beautiful windows and those and architectural beauty and then the Sanskriti, that is the real Yugadi. Then you can get up morning, take a bath, oil massage, make beautiful sweets, have the kahi, sihi and kahi, yes sweet and bitter to tell this is the real yugadi then you can call yugadi wishing you all a happy yugadi please practice reality is our strength reality is close to god <laughs>